And today we are going to ask Jeeves about some old million dollar extreme. I'm really sorry for this intro already. I've regretted it, um, but we're going to keep recording. So um, I also have that song, um, Hanging by a Moment, stuck in my head. Um, you know, I'm letting go of all I held on to. Okay, I'm really sorry. This is the worst. All right, so um, what did I see that I was like, I have to. I have to watch it. I have to watch it. I've already lost it. Okay, where is, where, okay, cool hairstyle. Um, big and tall couture. I want to watch, oh, here, here it is. Hi, Emma Watson. Okay, nine minutes. Um, I'm going to, you know. I don't know. I don't think they would copyright me. They, I would assume they like me too much for that. So. Hey, what's up? This is your buddy here, Sam Hyde. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a little piece of advice for Emma Watson. This video is for Emma Watson, private video. Emma, babe. <laughs> cool story, babe. Now make me a sandwich. <laughs> Emma, seriously, <laughs> get back in the kitchen. Speech. Hey, what's up, my little yeah. biatches out there in internet land? This is a special shout-out video. I'm sending this one to Emma Watson. Oh, Emma, if you're watching this right now, babe, got a little piece of advice for you, see? Guy. Here's my advice for you, Emma Watson. Check it out. Cool story, babe. <laughs> Does he do this? Get back in the kitchen. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Get back in the kitchen. See, this is a tired, like it's a tired joke, but he has so much. He adds so much pizzazz to it. Like it's, like normally I wouldn't be uh, like laughing this much at it because I've just you know I've seen this joke a million times I mean <laughs> turn around and let me see those Virginia hams I took that one from college humor by the way but like he just you know he always adds a little flair when he does these it's, and there's like extra levels of irony in there you know it's cool yeah, not, back in the kitchen. not gonna right. lie <laughs> he looks kind of suave like this with the cigar cool story babe don't make me a sandwich. <laughs> hey, Emma, I'm here for you. If you need advice, here's my advice for you. Get back in the kitchen. Is he drooling? <laughs> Is that drooling coming out of his mouth? Cool story, babe. Don't make me a sandwich. Check it out, babe. He's stuck in a loop. <laughs> that's, that's all I got to say to you, Emma. Cheers. Cigar won't stay lit. <laughs> I like cigars, but I can't get them to stay lit. That's the problem. <laughs> Emma, babe. I just want to <laughs> take advice from your sure old buddy Sam, drink? okay? <laughs> Start thinking is about this man really? Does this man really not drink? <laughs> you know what? I'm, I won't say. Uh, you know what? People, yeah. Um, but, uh, I don't know. This is six years ago. I'm not going to lie. Like, if this was six years ago, I probably would have had, like, a mega, mega, mega crush on this. I don't know. I have no idea. I was... Yeah. Okay. Stop <laughs> but, thinking about... Hey, we all grow. We all grow and improve in life. Well, we should. And I did. So, we're okay. But, yeah. I don't know what's going on with me right now. Like, you know. Uh, I, I believe this is in response to that little speech she did, which... I remember that making me laugh at the time, even though I was a feminist at the time. You're gonna be a big movie star and all this and all that. Look, you're hot, okay? She's really but pretty. nobody wants That's you. To a, oh my god! Star. I just synced with him. He goes, "You're hot," and I was later thinking, "Wow, she's really pretty." Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, that's I'm dating the best movie star. She says a great movie star. Nah, guys want you because you're hot, babe. <laughs> Look, get back in the kitchen. Start thinking about becoming a wife and a mother. What's going to make you the best wife and mother? All right, you get back up there. Next time you're in front of the UN, <laughs> I want to hear your 10 point plan about how you're going to make yourself into the ideal so candidate wife and mother. You picked a good right, I don't want to And I like the nodding. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's great. Oh, you got you're in a little movie? Oh, that's great, Emma. She <laughs> was. What's it called? Cool Fucking story, babe. Princess? 
is that the name of your next movie? It's called The Princess? What are you talking about, Emma? I don't care about your movies. Yeah, what are you going to do for me? You're going to be acting for me in the bedroom? I don't want that. I don't want the real thing. I don't want you acting in the bedroom, babe. Emma, listen, I know it's a tough world out there for you women. Blah, blah, blah. I get it, okay? You only earn 35 cents for every man's dollar. That's right. Because all the male stars in the movies you're in, they're earning a million dollars, and you're earning $350,000. Right? <laughs> Emma, look here, babe. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Everybody else is watching this right now. I would Stop love to make $350,000. Like I, right I feel like I could set myself up for life on that amount of money. I'm obsessed with the way you look. I'm obsessed with the way you probably smell. I'm obsessed with being with you. Being caring, guiding, paternal, loving. You get back in the kitchen. Oh, the old, okay, you see why? Like, I get this. Okay. I don't know this man. So I have to go purely on how I interpret him via the screen. Okay? Like, I'm just saying. Like, you know, like, like that was... That was kind of, you know, but I have no idea. I'm not, I'm going to stop projecting cutesy, wholesome stuff. That's probably just me. You know, I really don't understand this man. But he makes me laugh. And he makes me laugh so much. Okay. You make me a cigar, babe. Because I don't eat sandwiches. I eat cigars. You make me a cigar. So I keep my figure so slim. I like Listen, fashion. you're on a full cigar diet. That's all you need. Hey, you don't need sandwiches. I don't need a roast beef sandwich. I don't need a ham and cheese sandwich. I need a cigar. <laughs> Emma, you got the whole thing all skewed. What are you saying in front of the UN? I don't even watch the speech. I'm assuming she says something about the wage gap. Yeah. Emma, if you knew any, if you had she access to a search engine, you'd find about out the wage gap is large and bullshit. But uh, I don't assume that you're going to be doing any research on your own. You're probably just going to stand out there whining and complaining. Typical. <laughs> typical what? Typical woman? No. I've never met a woman who whines and complains. I'm a typical movie star. Okay? I'm not a bigot. I'm not some kind of anti-feminist. I believe that women whine and complain just as much as men do. Yeah. Men whine and complain more. <laughs> women don't whine and complain. The thing I hate about movie stars is when they talk about their ex-boyfriends when they start getting with them. Go to a movie theater and say, "Oh, this is a movie theater. This is where me and Billy from Jeff's band got in a big argument." Shut the fuck up, Emma. I'm trying to build something with you. I'm <laughs> trying to create a relationship with you. I don't want to know about the leather jacket tattoo guy that you fucked before me, Emma. You're hot, okay? But you're not that hot. My ex and me, we went to we went to a water park together. Is that what you want to hear? And her waist was slimmer than yours. <laughs> and her parts were tighter than yours. Oh no. Okay, so just, Emma, just stop. <laughs> Don't want to hear about the... I personally, yeah, I mean, I personally do not care. I don't want to hear, you know, the past is the past. I'm not <laughs> so, this is just, yeah, this is fun. Okay. <laughs> Emma. I just love the way he's like, Emma, you know. And then, yeah. The cigarette. guy with the beard, with the chest tattoo, with the Illuminati chest tattoo, and the tattoo of a feather on his arm, and the tattoo of dinosaur bones on his arm, and all the cool tattoos, and the cool music he listened to, okay? People and then we're going to see him walking around town, well. and he makes and eyes at you. Now, if I had any sort of manhood... Oh, by the way, if... Yeah, this got to me again. Every now and then, the Amberlynn Reed stuff that virally goes around, like, literally, I'll, like, not watch it and, and say, don't recommend it. YouTube always sends it back to me eventually, and, like, I will click on it. It's what This is one of my weaknesses, y'all, in case you're just... Sorry, I feel like I feel like this is really personal. <laughs> it's, it's like, eyes at you. I'm going to go up to him, and I'm going to push him. And I'm gonna, he's gonna hit his head when he falls backwards, and I'm gonna spend the night in jail. And that's your fault. And when I get out, I'm gonna punch you in the face. I have to hurt you. <laughs> Listen, it doesn't have to be this way. You can just be my sweet little baby, and I won't. I would never hurt you. You can just be my sweet little baby. <laughs> tender kisses. And don't talk about your ex boyfriend. But you real me. So I don't even want you. You're nasty. Oh. Listen, here's the thing about you making me a sandwich. 
is that I don't... You say these things about your exes to show me that you have high value, to show me that a man has previously cared for you a very large amount. I get it, okay? I assume that. I don't want to hear that, well, though. You need it. What if I was girl. like, well, <laughs> you know, the thing, funny thing about me is that the girls typically go crazy about me. You know what? You're reading too many books, it's my dear Miss Watson. I, when I was younger, I've done that. Like, oh my god, this guy wanted me, this guy wanted me, you know? I See, that's our relationship that right there. The Ew. <laughs> that's our relationship. Okay, it could have been something great, but you didn't light it evenly, and it burned down. Yeah. The wrong way. So now I'm sitting in my car, crying over you. <laughs> boo hoo hoo hoo. Boo hoo. <laughs> boo hoo. <laughs> <clears throat> relationship tip for men. Next time you get really bent out of shape about babe, your baby, your hot baby, just look in the mirror and do this. Do one of these. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and then you'll realize what a fucking idiot you're being. Check this out. This is my real girlfriend right here. It's a weight belt. Okay. <laughs> it's my 13 millimeter weight belt. That's the only girlfriend I have. Um. Put her on. She holds me tight. She keeps me close. She's my baby. <laughs> anyway. There's something so intimate garage. about this. It's a nice garage. I don't know whose house this is, but I'm hanging out here. I'm just like, I can't. I'm sleeping in my car. I'm on the road. I got nothing. <laughs> that Sam Hyde has been reduced to sleeping in his car. Well, of course, the haters love to hear that. Uh, the haters want to hear that I, I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing. Uh, I'm not funny. <laughs> Alright, you little fuckers, that's enough video for today. You don't oh, get any more wow. video after this. This is the end of the video. Now listen. Uh, oh. He's really giving his all to his art. <laughs> so, this is my Sweet house. Life. Now. Is that a Toyota? This is my house. Oh, heck yeah. This is my house now. In my house, I have nothing. All right. Wow, that was interesting. Um, I've had a few people like someone wanted me to do Yale Lives Matter. Um, I ended up recording a Yale Lives Matter, but um, it just the sound was really off. So I'm gonna do it again. That one's a lot longer. Well, it's like 14 minutes. So I don't know. Some of these are kind of long, but. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know if that was, like, the funnest, like, reaction I've done. But honestly, it's, like, all I want to do now. Um, <laughs> I'm just, you know what? I'm just going to lean in. I am apparently obsessed with this. <laughs> like, I'm obsessed with old MD right now. And I'm just going to lean in, as the ladies say, okay? And just embrace it. All right. I love you guys. Um, hope you're all doing well. Have a good one.